It's time for the One Bar and Lepica Show, bringing you anything and everything Minnesota Vikings. Welcome to professional football. All right, welcome back to the One Bar and Lepica Show. I am One Bar, and in today's episode, I'm going to convince you why Justin Jefferson will, in fact, win that beautiful offensive Rookie of the Year trophy. Before we get into that, remember, subscribe to the One Bar and Lepica Show. Like the videos, we're here every damn day talking purple. But uh, let's talk Justin Jefferson. Let's talk Offensive Rookie of the Year. Why am I so confident that he's going to take this home? Um, you know, Jefferson is coming into a very ideal situation for a first-round wide receiver. Usually, first-round receivers you see have a lot of pressure. Um, they are asked to take over that number one receiver role right off the bat, and we've seen it many times fail over and over. We've seen it up close and personal uh, fail, unfortunately, for the Vikings. Um, but Jefferson is going to be coming in. As of now, everything points to him being handed that number two receiver. Having a guy like Adam Thielen on the other side of you is going to do wonders for him. Um, opening things up, helping him learn the game. Also, we have one of the best running running attacks in the league, not to mention two pretty damn good tight ends. With And Irv Smith is going to be taking a leap and helping open things up. So when you're an opposing defense, really the last person you're going to be worried about is probably Justin Jefferson. Justin Jefferson is going to have some space. Uh, he's going to have some freedom over there until he proves himself. So that is going to allow him to put up some numbers um, especially early in the season. I know it's not all about the numbers when it comes to wins and losses, but we're talking strictly just the Offensive Rookie of the Year award, so we are talking numbers. Um, we also have a quarterback that is consistently in the top five when it comes to completion percentage. So Jefferson is going to see some balls, uh, and not just in the locker room. He's going to see some balls thrown his way quite a bit until either he proves that the defenses need to um, – concentrate on him or if he proves that he's just not very good but I don't see that happening so uh, that's just everything around Justin Jefferson we're not even really talking about Jefferson yet so on top of that what Jeff what Jefferson brings to the table um, he's well ahead of, of rookies when you normally see uh, where they're at with route running he's a he's an above average route runner which is going to go miles as far as what he's going to be able to to do right off the bat um, we saw this when Diggs, when he was a rookie, his route running was just a, above above average from what you see. Usually that is one of the big things that keep receivers off of the field in their early in their early stages of their career, a la Laquan Treadwell. Um, but he's got that. Uh, there's no concerns there. He's got good hands. He's got decent speed. Um, so he's on top of everything else going on, he's just a pretty damn good wide receiver. Um, we've seen... We've seen, like I said, unfortunately in the past where the Vikings have sprung on a Troy Williamson. They've sprung on a Lokan Treadwell. Don't get me wrong. When we took Treadwell, I was very excited. Turns out I was very, very wrong. But Williamson was drafted pretty much strictly for his speed. Uh, Treadwell was drafted as to be our possession guy, to be a guy that could be a nice big target in the red zone, where Jefferson is just more that all-around receiver. So these other guys took a while to get on the field. Some never saw the field much. Um, where Jefferson is going to be light years ahead of them as far as what he can do right off the bat. Um, so I think he's going to put up some good numbers. Diggs, when he was a rookie, what do you have, 800 yards, five touchdowns or so, and he didn't even play the first handful of the games in the season. I think Jefferson will eclipse those numbers. No, I'm not saying he's better than Diggs. No, I'm not saying he will be better than Diggs. But I just think he will put up better numbers earlier in his career uh, than Diggs did. And I think he will put numbers up like like A.J. Brown we saw last year with the Titans, 1,000-plus yards and just uh, quite a few catches. So Justin Jefferson, you might as well just put that in his Wikipedia page right now that he won the Offensive NFL Rookie of the Year because it's going to happen. If not, let me know why down in the comments.